If you are an introvert and you watch this video, you will be more magnetic. You'll give yourself more permission to unleash your true energy. You'll own it more and people will literally respond to you differently if you apply what I share with you in this video. Now, when it comes to introverts and extroverts, let's understand first off what the difference is so that we can then see what the secrets are of this because if you, you know, maybe you've been on dates before with people, maybe you've seen people with different types of energy and sometimes, I don't know if it's in social media or if it's in like movies and stuff, but we'll have this belief that like you have to be really outgoing and talkative in order to be attractive. And I will tell you from seeing working with so many thousands of people in my uh, challenges that I do, my magnetic love challenges and other challenges, I will tell you that when people start to own their own energy and they start to really give themselves permission to be whatever is authentic to them, which a lot of times isn't talking and blabbing all the time, that there's a very attractive energy to it. Many of these people then feel and feel different about themselves and that leaks out into the people they meet in their lives. Now, first off, what is the difference between extroversion and introversion? Now, in general, extroversion is people that are extroverted, very loud and outgoing, but really what it means, when I was talking to my shadow work integration coach, he explained it to me, and extroverts draw energy from the external. So it's almost like the more they're talking, the more they're interacting with other people, the more energized they feel. Whereas a lot of times for introverts, that would actually drain them. I know for me, even though I look like an extrovert maybe because of how I talk, I can be an extrovert in certain situations, but I definitely gain more energy from being introverted. So introversion is more so you gain energy from being in your own energy and from the inside out. So understanding that maybe an introvert doesn't gain the energy, doesn't take the energy from the environment and use that and need that in order to feel energized, that's a different way of looking at introversion versus extroversion. Now understand this about attraction. Whatever you feel about you is projected out and other people feel that. So sometimes what happens with shy people or introverted people is they feel like they shouldn't be shy. They feel like they shouldn't be quiet. They feel like there's something wrong with them. Maybe they go to a party and it's like they feel like they have to try to engage with every single person there versus just being themselves, even if that means being quiet sometimes. So the first secret and magnetic secret for introverts that will completely transform your life is simply learning to own your own introversion. Accept it about yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. The more you accept it for yourself, the more other people will see and value it in you. Some of my best friends are introverts. My friend Victor is very much an introvert. And the cool thing about him is him and I are like best friends. And one of the th reasons it works out so well is actually I do sometimes talk a lot and he doesn't talk as much as I do. So there's more polarity. There's, there's more um, balance there to where it's not just us talking all the time. It's interesting how it works, but I tell you, I've seen Victor go through his own transformation with this, where he used to feel like we do these retreats in Costa Rica and at these retreats, it's like, they're like, um, you know, a week long. Sometimes he would feel obligated, like I have to be extroverted and I have to go out and talk to people and then he would feel drained because he was trying to be a way that wasn't natural for him. But then something interesting happened a couple of retreats ago. We do these retreats like three times a year. Some switched like two retreats ago. He started to just accept the way he was and he would sometimes be in the big group, we'd be talking and then he would just go off and just chill by himself for a little bit without needing to give explanation, without feeling guilty and when he came back, he had more energy because he owned it. He wasn't feeling self-conscious about it. He wasn't feeling like there was something wrong. And he started, and I told him this too, and so did some other people. It's like when he speaks, it has so much power because he's not speaking so damn much. I talk a lot, right? If I only said like, I don't know, if this was like a 12 minute video and I just said like three words, it'd be the most powerful three words. But having a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff sometimes can be overwhelming. I was watching this show called Final Table on Netflix and it's just competition reality show and there's like this amazing food that they make and the thing is, is you can make very simple foods and very little of it, 
But the thing is, is that little food, that little amount that is made must be delicious in order to win. Whereas sometimes plates will be overwhelmed with flavor, overwhelmed with like stuff on it, which can sometimes hurt it. Sometimes it's okay. But it's interesting because less can be more. And when you're aligned in your heart and you're choosing your words, it's something that people will really appreciate about you. I can tell that in Victor's energy, he's much more accepting out of himself. He much more owns himself now and he carries a very different energy now. And every single one of you, if you're an introvert, you can apply this energy. And you'll notice that by doing it, it makes you feel more attractive and feel more acceptance. And remember, this is a game of you feeling accepting of yourself, of you feeling magnetic because you give yourself permission to be yourself. The second secret for introverts of magnetism is understanding that introverts draw their energy from within, extroverts draw their energy from the external. Guess what? It is very attractive to draw your energy from the inside out. It is attractive to, to be in your own energy and to get filled up by that. It is attractive for you to fill up your own energy. So realizing that, you can start to appreciate the introversion that you might have knowing that the introversion you might have is a way that you fill up your own cup. But the key is the awareness of the time and the space you might need to fill up your own cup. Maybe even the boundaries you need. Boundaries can be a very attractive thing for introverts to apply. One of the reasons being because sometimes introverts may feel guilty about being introverted. So when their friends are like, come hang out, come do this, come do that. And introverts are like, I don't know if I want to do that, but they feel guilty and they do it anyways. That drains their energy. Don't have any shame in just saying, no, I don't want to do that. Because the weird thing is that that actually makes you more attractive because you're realizing your own sense of value and your own sense of energy. When somebody doesn't need anything from somebody else, they don't need to go out and be extroverted and like draw energy from the environment, that can be very attractive. Remember, anything we need, it's saying I lack and I need from somebody else. You being introverted is a very attractive thing. The more you own it, the more other people will own it. And the more you change your story about it too. We all have a story about introversion or extroversion. We have a story about our relationship with our parents. We have a story about how we relate to the uh, people we're dating. We have a story. These stories remain on autopilot until we become aware of it. But if we believe there's something wrong with us, it dims our magnetic vibe. We're playing small. When you own who you are, that's the most attractive you. When you are even more polarizing, maybe you say, I don't want to hang out. I'm just going to go do my own thing. That is attractive for you to claim your own truth. So realize that for this whole dynamic of magnetic energy, it is about owning, reframing the story, reframing the story. The old story may have been, there's something wrong with me. I'm shy, blah, blah, blah. Instead, own it. Just own it and be like, this is a good thing. It is a good thing to be in my own energy. It is a good thing to be introverted. It is a good thing to be more shy because that also leads me to my third magnetic secret about this, which is actually very simple, but this, now the thing with this is you don't want to do this third secret to get the result. You have to do it just because it's who you are. But they find there's a lot of, I've heard this from many different women too that talk about, you know, in these challenges that I do, these, tw these 21 day, you know, magnetic love challenges and stuff. I hear what women are attracted to. So many of them like the quiet person that is, it, it, there's a level of mysteriousness to it because you don't know exactly what they're thinking and doing. And that can be very attractive. So being quiet, holding your energy and being safe and comfortable in your own frame is one of the most magnetic things you can do because it has, it's not all on the surface for people to see. It makes people come up to you and go, what is, going on? What is, it, what is it with this person? Like what, what is there more about this person? I want to know more. But it's not like you're just being quiet because you're like, okay, I'm going to be quiet now and I'm mysterious. Ooh, no one understands who I am. It's more so just being in your own energy, enjoying the moment. That's another thing about introverts. A lot of times introverts will be way more present than extroverts because extroverts many times are thinking about the next damn thing to say. Whereas introverts, they listen. I should have made this a whole point in and of itself. Introverts tend to listen more than extroverts. And I will tell you that in the process, a lot of times, especially when like dudes go on Google and they're like, how do I pick up chicks? They think they have to talk, 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 and it screws it up for them. If they were just to listen 
ask questions and listen, they would be like 10x more attractive. Same thing for just about anybody. The more, the, when you listen, it is attractive because it shows curiousness, it shows uh, empathy, it shows that you're, you're interested. So for this, the mysteriousness means to other people like there's more to find out here. And one of the things I highly recommend you do is you start focusing more, being on present to the moment and then understanding you can own if you're quiet because it is a little bit more mysterious. It does make people curious. It does make them want to prod a little bit and see what is going on with this person. But don't be mysterious because this is a tactic. I used to work with this guy at, at a, when I had the 9 to 5 job at Barney's and he would... He was uh, trying to develop an Australian accent because he realized a lot of girls liked Australian accents. So he spent weeks watching YouTube videos trying to do Australian accents. And it was just, I could tell it was very challenging for him to do, but also he even told some customers sometimes, he's like, yeah, I'm trying to learn, he's, I'm practicing my Australian accent right now because I'm trying to learn um, because I noticed that girls like it more or something. He would like tell customers this, I thought it was so interesting. But when you're doing something to get a result, people feel that. So if you're like trying to be mysterious and trying to be a little bit more awkwardly quiet, when I was a kid, one of my tactics I learned was how to pout. I would pout if like I wasn't getting attention from somebody, I would pout and be like quietly like, mm, because I want your attention. Mm. One time my brother, he was in the yearbook and it said, uh, my last name's Dowdy. It said Zach Pouty on it. And he was like pouting in the corner. Like, yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> so over years, I would always bring that up to him. Anyways. Um, but you don't want to do these things to get a certain result. You want to do them because you are. It's, it's who you are. Now, magnetic energy is really about being in your own frame, feeling safe in your own body, knowing who you are, living by certain values. Confidence is straight up about your own integrity and trust with yourself. And one of the things we're doing July 1st to July 21st is a 21-day confidence love challenge. This is a 21-day transformative process. There's going to be thousands of people that join. There's a community of like-minded people that you're going to get to be a part of. And you're going to go through a process of live coaching, live videos, me and other experts. They're going to help you to shift into a more confident you. So if you want to find your frame, be in your own magnetic energy, Energy, reframe your own insecurities, remove fear and doubt. Now's the best time to join that of the 21 day challenge. You can join by going to www.confidencelovechallenge.com, www.confidencelovechallenge.com. And if you want a video that will help you to feel more confident than ever, it's five confidence secrets. It will change your life. Watch it right here. People feel what you feel about you. The energy inside of our bodies are contagious and based on how we feel about ourselves, that energy is being emanated out and other people are responding to us based on that energy.